Yo, 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 what's going on, everybody? It's your boy DMD back once again with another Starfield video. And today I wanted to make a video on a suggestion that I received from a comment on one of my previous videos and talk a little bit about encumbrance. Wow, I love that word. It just sounds nice rolling off the tongue, doesn't it? Encumbrance. Pretty sure I wouldn't even know that word if it wasn't for video games in Bethesda. Anywho's, I thought I could give a few pointers and suggestions on how to overcome the over-encumbered challenges that all Bethesda RPGs have present in them. This video obviously is going to be talking about Starfield, but you can honestly take a lot of these same things I'm going to talk about and implement them into Bethesda's other games as well. Most of these are going to seem pretty straightforward and easy for the veterans out there, but keep in mind some are just starting to play, and Starfield really doesn't tell you a whole lot. One last thing before we hop into it, just wanted to take some extra time with this video thank all of you for the support with my last couple of videos, it really means the world to me, and it gives me the drive to keep doing this thing. Thank you so much, I really really appreciate it, and I'm glad you guys have responded so positively to the content, it really means a lot to me, thank you so much. Quick warning, I have seen some spoiler related stuff in the comments, so be careful. Guys, please try and keep your comments spoiler free. I haven't even finished the game or any storylines myself, so I'd appreciate it as well. Alrighty, with that being said, let's get into it. This is how to deal with being over encumbered. Tip number one, invest in proper skills. In Starfield and the physical tree of the skills page, there are a couple must-have skills to help with being overweight. The first one is weightlifting. If you are a little kleptomaniac or hoarder, you are gonna want to have this maxed out for sure. It increases your carrying capacity by 100 kilograms when it's fully invested in. That's a pretty huge increase. You basically are carrying around a personal shipping container in your pants. I've got one hand in my pocket, and the other one's got a sex and shield systems 200 cm ballast cargo hold. Another great skill for pack meals to have maxed out is fitness. Fitness grants you extra oxygen and reduces sprinting costs at the top level. When you are over encumbered, running consumes oxygen, and sprinting consumes even more. The more oxygen you have, and the less actions cost, equals more runtime to get to where you need to go to drop off that fat stash you've been carrying. Spacesuit design is another skill that has usage for the one trip grocery bringer enter. Some of the mods offered by higher tier spacesuit design increases carrying capacity and some can reduce the cost of sprinting even further. You might be able to see how some of these skills used in conjunction with each other could output some serious sprinting power. Something that I think is useful for every character. The last skill that I want to talk about that might be kind of a sleeper hit with heavy boys is nutrition. When nutrition's maxed out, it makes food and drink 50% more effective. I've seen some pretty decent O2 recovery drinks while playing Starfield, and I think that with nutrition maxed out, it could really help with keeping your O2 regenerated while running around and such. I can't speak to the efficacy of this as I haven't tested it out personally, but when I was looking at the skill tree it caught my eye and got me thinking it could be useful in this specific use case. Tip number two, use your companions. As far as I know, every companion in the game has storage that you can utilize when you are out and about bebopping around town. If you are constantly overweight, try bringing a friend with you to help carry all the crap you pick up. Most of the companions seem to have a carrying capacity of 135 kilograms. You could even invest in leadership on the social skill tree to increase companions carrying capacity by 50 kilograms. Now multiply that by how many crew you bring along and that really adds a lot of capacity for storing things while not in settlements. If you got them, you might as well have them carry some stuff. I could help a bit. I could carry it for a while. Share the load. Tip number three, get in the habit of offloading your ship's cargo and your companion's storage. Are you heading back to New Atlantis? You going back to the lodge? Well, take all your cargo and companion stuff with you to drop off. The lodge has plenty of unlimited storage boxes in the basement, and there is one in your room as well. 
Start trying to remind yourself every time you go back to New Atlantis to grab all your crap for drop off. You can press X or right bumper while on the resource page to take all for fast transferring of goods. You can honestly drop off all your ship's cargo at the very least in less than two minutes. If you do this, it will increase the amount of time you can spend out in the star field, but also it will increase the amount of time you spend not overweight because you'll be able to drop off all the loot back into your ship each time you take off. Tip number four, check the aid section of your inventory. Did you just drop off all the awesome loot you just got? Did you sell all the stuff? Do you still weigh a bajillion kilograms? Try going to the egg section of your inventory and clicking the left stick to sort by value or weight. The culprit for a lot of my encumbrance issues might be at the top of that list. Ship parts. When I first started playing, I had a little bit of a moment as I struggled to find what the heck was weighing me down so much in my inventory, and it turned out to be ship parts. I assumed this happened when I was offloading my ship's cargo and just hit all like I was saying in that last tip. So if you're doing this or are going to start, make sure you put your ship parts back in the cargo hold before leaving to offload. Those dang things are heavy. Tip number five, stop picking up the heaviest gear. Anything over four kilograms is heavy gear in my eyes. That means spacesuits, boost packs, most weapons, and heavy crafting components. It just isn't worth carrying around 70 kgs of spacesuits with you. They aren't worth a lot of credits, and if they aren't as good as what you are wearing, there's no reason to carry them in for sale. If you just want to collect stuff, that's something else entirely. But if you are just looking to sell, the categories I mentioned before just aren't worth the inventory space. There are some exceptions, of course, but most of the time, whatever gear that level 2 spacer has on ain't gonna cut it. Warning. Warning. Light spoiler ahead. When I say light, I mean it's like the second or third thing you get in the main quest line, so it's really light. Okay, I warned you. Tip number six. Have favorited and used the power personal atmosphere. This power has become an absolute favorite of mine. I struggled to understand at first what it was for, but as I kept playing with it, I realized it's basically just a get out of being winded free card. Then I realized how nice that is when you are over encumbered. You can sprint yourself to near asphyxiation and use this power to get your second wind. Combine this with a little amp action, and you've turned yourself into a little motorized bubble boy. I didn't ask for not. No way, Mom. I'm, I'm some kind of bubble boy. How do you take a dump in that thing? Okay, final tip. This is gonna be the hardest one to hear for everyone out there, including myself. It hurts just gearing up to even say it. We all have a hoarder deep inside of us. We just gotta stop picking up so much shit. I know, I know. It's near impossible thing to adhere by, isn't it? Unfortunately, it's just how it is. One of the most significant bummers of my lifetime. We got to control ourselves a little bit here. Do we really need 20 kilograms of med packs? What about another 20 kilograms of trauma packs? What about 300 mines? At some point, we gotta tone things down on what we carry if you don't wanna be over encumbered. Think about your character. Does your character really use seven different types of mines? If they don't, why have them? I don't know about you, but it's easy to find yourself holding on to things, just waiting and waiting to use them, but then you just do what comes natural to your playstyle. Do you really need and use six different rifles? When I first started playing my character, I had like five pistols favorited, and then I realized I was really just sticking to two of them. Basically, I had eight kilograms of space just sitting there being used by guns I wasn't ever using. These are the things you need to ask about your character and about how you want to play the game. Everything has weight, especially weapons, spacesuits, and boost packs. That's valuable space for an adventurer. With that being said, Starfield is by far the least punishing when it comes to their over-encumbered system. 
If you look at Fallout 4, for example, the second you're over encumbered, you can no longer sprint. You just walk, man. You just walk. When you get over encumbered in Starfield, it doesn't force you to walk. You can still run. You can still sprint. It just uses up your stamina. I think it's a great compromise and I think they did a great job on it. We just gotta be a little bit more reserved on what we pick up. Don't pick up the nine pound vitinium rods. You know, you can make those later. You can buy those places. You don't need nine, nine pounds of vitinium rod in your ship's cargo hold, you know, most of the time. Most of the time you don't. So why do it? Save yourself the space. All right, everyone, that's it for today. Hope you enjoyed the video, and I hope this helps with your weight issues. Consider a like and subscribe for your boy. I'd super enjoy that, because I've got more content coming for you. Love you guys. Have a good rest of the day. Be safe, be kind, be a good person. Say la vie.